good morning, good day, good Friday. It is Friday indeed, and it will be a good Friday. Just like every day. Ah, so, last upload, I believe, we had gone uh, 10 days, and then the 11th night, Joe has a seizure. But, <clears throat> excuse me, it lasted less than a minute. It didn't seem to be as intense as far as, uh, you know, the severity, I guess that's the word I'm looking for, of his, his motions. Um, you know, we didn't have to restrain his arms from punching himself in the face. We didn't have to worry about him kicking the shit out of the, you know, the walls or anything. <clears throat> laying on the stomach when it started and it stiffened him out like straight as an arrow uh, and it's it's amazing what these things uh, can do to the body where it was so short but yesterday he was so tired all day because those muscles are being I would love to find out like the equivalency um a seizure of that magnitude or his average magnitude seizures versus uh, not versus but what it would equal uh, or how it would stack up uh, against a uh, a workout um, like weight training you know is just assuming because it makes him so tired that maybe these muscles are being worked so much it's like being you know, in a what 30 minute 45 minute an hour long uh, weight training class perhaps I don't know I just, I'm curious to know like, you know not that I want him to continue to have these things but you know if you're going to go through it well I wonder these things this is how it is but, again, still in good spirits. Um, he didn't wake up with a real bad headache. So he had some pain. But he's also dealing with a racked up left shoulder that occurred during one of his last uh, medicated seizures. Uh, took him to a sports doctor. They said it's not torn. He hasn't ripped anything. But you know, he really torqued it, laying on it that way, and seizing you know, gave it a good, a good how's your father? So he's doing uh, some PT at home to strengthen those muscles. And as long as we stay on him, he, he does it because he doesn't want to run around. I saw him at practice Wednesday night, as tired as I was, and he was gimping the whole the whole way, keeping that left arm. Up and, and tucked in. Like, ah, come on, man. Gotta take care of that. Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, you know, knowing I'm in the, or was, I don't know, in the midst of a, uh, you know, another mood shift, personality swing, whatever you want to call it. just wasn't quite sure which way it was going while well, it was, you know, heading down. And uh, a big part of that was, um, well, I should say a big thing affecting it was, was balance. Um, you know, I hadn't slept enough. I haven't slept properly. As a matter of fact, the night that my son had a seizure, I, uh, the program that, well, it's my computer. I have a laptop, an old laptop in the bedroom, and it's connected to the CCTV camera. And, you know, I watch the video periodically as I'm watching TV or, you know, doing whatever, get ready for bed. And the sound I have, the audio comes through. 
in my Google Home right by my head. So if we're not seeing it, we can at least hear uh, hear him having a seizure. Well, the computer is, is old and it locked up and wasn't getting, all I was getting was like a still shot from 20 minutes beforehand. Like, uh, come on. And everything happens for a reason. I sat up, I said, all right, let me fix this thing. Uh, I'll fix it right now. You know, it had been frozen for a few moments. So I got up after a little while and I fixed it. And it wasn't even 10 minutes later that, uh, that a seizure began. So we're, uh, you know, I did notice that when, oh dear, deer in the road, it happened. He wasn't practicing his deep breathing exercises and I did notice that when he did go to bed when he did fall asleep his breathing was shallow again so there are a couple times you, you, know, you walk in there you rub on his back or you kind of fuss with his hair and he'll you know, he'll wake up almost, almost startled but he'll, he'll begin breathing deep again but wasn't enough. I'm also noticing that uh, these are creeping in again. Um, I may be wrong, but I'm just kind of, I'm noticing that lately he hasn't been uh, having two practices a day. Uh, for a while he was practicing with the high school every day and then uh, two nights out of the week practicing with the uh, U16 team and most likely playing, hey, here's one of his teammates, playing soccer and gym as well, I'm sure. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, now he's put on a little bit of weight again. You know, not a whole lot. But I'm wondering if the decrease, especially the sudden decrease in his cardio and now his lung capacity isn't being used fully, you know, running and getting all that going for him. Maybe it's, uh, you know, maybe there's a connection. I mean, I don't have epilepsy, but when I get my cardio going, like I had over the summer, I felt great. I felt great physically and mentally, emotionally, great. You know, I already know what the endorphins can do for depression uh, and things of that nature. But overall, I mean, I still have my knee pain, my neck pain, my back, things of that nature. But I didn't have, uh, you know, your day-to-day -day kinds of pains. You know, your, your Tylenol, your ibuprofen, easily uh, resolved issues. So it's just a thought. But uh, you know, being that I was up so late and watching him, and I just just kind of I don't want to say broke down, but I kind of I reached a, a point, and thankfully I acknowledged that that point <clears throat> being reached and the warning signs. I saw the warning signs, and I heeded the warning. <clears throat> Excuse me. I was supposed to have dental work done the other day, and I called and said, you know, I have to cancel that appointment. Um, you know, I got to I gotta take a day from work, you know, with this boy. Um, you know, who knows when another one's going to pop up. And, you know, one of us has to get some sleep in the house. <laughs> and, well, if I'm not going to get it through the night, then I'm going to have to get it some other way. You know, and allow my wife to be able to sleep so she can function and do all the things, all the things that she has to do every day for herself, for her job, for the kids. It's crazy. So, I took a, took a small leave to deal with him and myself. <laughs> and uh, I'm glad to say, although I didn't sleep all the damn day, uh, just couldn't anyhow. I did fully exhaust myself, and uh, what are they doing all the way out here? Um, did fully 
exhaust myself and was able to fall asleep at a normal time. Now, the only problem with that is I fell asleep in the living room on the sofa. That sofa can kick my ass sometimes. So I wake up, I'm like, man, they left me out here. All right, I can get up, wander into the, uh, the bedroom, and what do I see but my beautiful little 10 year old laying on my side of the bed? You brat. <clears throat> See, a lot of times I can nudge her, jiggle, whatever, and she'll wake right up, you know, almost vampire like. And, and uh, you know, I can get her to get into her room. But it wasn't happening this time. So I'm like, oh man. So <laughs> I did the next best thing. What was she doing? <laughs> I took her blanket. <laughs> Sometimes they're not sent when we physically send them, when we hit send. We'll get it hours later. Almost as if you hit send and somebody took the phone, drove all the way out, you know, you know Pittsburgh, drove all the way over to us, and then here's a text message. <laughs> so I'm hoping that no, I guess I could check the details. You know, she wasn't eating steak and fries at 12.30 a.m., I kind of doubt that she would be. I mean, I can only imagine that the cafeterias and stuff are closed that hour. But, like, yeah, yeah, that's my kid. Boy, did I set a great example. I set an example of what not to do. That doesn't mean go ahead and do those things. But, and on a sad note, another text I had gotten, I feel bad because mom if you're watching I passed the hell out <laughs> after the last text I sent you that I, I, I was out I'm sorry um, my mother's best friend and a lady that just loved me like I was one of her own and I remember she always cracked me up she always had good advice you know the times I would see or hear from her as I got older was the one, as a matter of fact, who warned me about taking a third shift job. Um, and she said, you know, I understand you're a night owl, so was I. And I started working for this company, a third, a third shift, because the money was right and the position was open. And within a year's time, she's, it, it pushed her over. It just pushed her right over the edge. Um, Working those hours, if you have any underlying, uh, you know, mental issues and don't know about it, this will bring them, you know, a third shift job will bring it to the surface, uh, especially if you have a family you're trying to, you're taking care of. If you do have issues, then a third, and you do know about it, then a third shift position is not for you. It's not worth it. Believe me, it is, it's not worth it. Um, she warned me about it and I... Took it, you know. I said, I understand, I got you. But same as her position years ago, I I had to take that job. I had to get my foot that door. And ten years later, here I am, blessing and a curse. But she suddenly passed yesterday, and it's you know hit my mom pretty hard. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm still in shock, but I keep reminding myself that there are more people hurting a lot more than I am. There's a lot more people that are a lot more sad than I am. There's a lot more people 
affected deeply more so than I am. Idiots. Great big size has no left turn. They try to make a left turn there. Um, but I'm glad she did get to see her her granddaughter. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, she did raise one hell of a successful son. Made it from small town New Jersey. Not the best town either. Made it from small town New Jersey. He's out in L.A. now. He's got his own shop out in Los Angeles, California. So, Miss Pam, love you. We'll always love you. We'll always miss you. Thank you. And that's about all I have for now. If I'll see you the rest of the weekend. Y'all have a good day, good night, good evening, and a hell of a weekend. And uh, it'll be good.